Hey there, are you an entrepreneur who wants to get to that seven figures, maybe even beyond, but you're a bit afraid to do it because maybe you've heard horror stories about what happens when you start getting into that seven figures. Like it's a lot to manage, there's so much that you have to do, it takes away all of your freedom, uh, you have to pay so much in taxes. All of these are things that entrepreneurs go through when they are trying to scale to those much higher levels. And so I want to encourage you today that you can build your business in a way that will be much simpler and easier to manage and you can be working at the top of your industry versus sort of the shark infested waters. So that's what this video is all about. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe right now. So how can entrepreneurs move to seven figures and still love their business, love their life? Well, there are really four things that you have to look at when you're doing this. The first thing is have a business model that actually is a more of a freedom model. And when I'm talking about a freedom model, I'm not talking about funnels necessarily. I know people equate freedom with funnels and I'm not talking about that. But here's the thing, when you start working with higher caliber clients and you start getting paid three or five or 10 times more for what you are selling, you can see that you are going to be able to have a simpler business making a lot more money and a lot more profitability. The other thing is it will also allow you the money to take a lot of things off of your plate and bring in the team that you need. So you really want to have a revenue model that can help you have freedom and simplicity in your business. And a lot of entrepreneurs don't build their business this way. So let me give you an example. I have a client, I, you, I know you've already heard me talk about this on one of my other videos, but she has an agency and she was making so much per month with her agency per client, but it still is a volume business. She still had to have a lot of clients to make the money that she wanted to make. And so one of the arms that we added to her business was consulting, like advisory services. She was already giving away all of that advice and that expertise to the client she was working with, but she didn't really sell it as a consulting piece of her business. So that strategic advice, that uh, deep look into their business, showing them the things that they needed to be doing in their marketing. She was an agency. She wasn't really doing Doing that. And so that was why we started working together. She said, I want to add a consulting arm to my business. And I wonder if you're giving away a lot of your expertise as well, not charging for that, just trying to get the client for the thing that you deliver. And so you're probably missing a huge opportunity here to have a brand new revenue stream, a brand new income stream that also will set you apart from everyone else out there. And it will allow you to actually go deeper into a transformation with your clients. And because of that, you're going to be able to make a lot bigger fees. So you might be able to charge an additional $100,000 for this type of an offer, $50,000. Now, originally, my client went in with a $50,000 consulting offer, and it was for strategic advice. It wasn't for her to go in and do more work. She was already doing those services. But when she went in and she said, these are the gaps that I'm seeing in your business. And if we fix these things, it would actually make what we're already doing for you work better. And they said, yes, they said yes to that $50,000 offer because she showed them the value of that. And this was going to be an offer where she was really just almost like a CMO, like working with their team to help their team. Well, as it went on, they saw the value when she got started with them. They saw this massive value that she had. And that $50,000 sale turned into a $413,000 sale. And so my question for you is, are you leaving a lot of money on the table that you could be capturing in your business to simplify your business? And you can see with a $400,000 client, you don't need very many of those, right? To move into a million or millions of dollars. So the first thing that I want to teach you and that I teach all of my clients, whether I they were a small business owner that I worked with or a coach or a consultant, a professional entrepreneur, I want to move them into working with high caliber clients at higher fees because that is number one, more profitable. Number two, they're probably already giving half of it away anyway, and it can simplify your business and scaling your business. So that's the first thing. 
Now, along with that, though, there are some other pieces. There are some other moving parts. And this is where you really have to set yourself apart in your brand, in your expertise, and you have to stand out and you have to be different from what other people are out there doing. And it can't just be that you are different. You have to be seen as different. So the marketing piece is the next step in this. You've got to elevate your positioning in the market, meaning you look like the only person who does what you do. No one else can compete with you. When you do this, when you move into what I call the expert influence part marketing, you will now look like the go-to person, the sought after expert. You'll look like the specialist and you'll look like you deserve those bigger fees. So it isn't just about raise your prices, offer something at higher fees. It's about you also have to look like you deserve to make that money because of how good you are and the credibility and all of those things that go along with strong positioning. So positioning is the next step. Now, the third step to this is your sales process. Selling these high caliber packages, high caliber clients, it's a very different process than maybe what you have been doing to bring in lower fee clients. And so your sales process has to really get dialed in. And quite honestly, a lot of times you have to draw a line in the sand and you have to say, I will not drop below this amount of money that I'm selling so that I can build and grow the business that I want. Instead of taking every call, every single person, you want to move into more of a qualifying process where now you are getting to talk to the best clients, the people that are in a position to actually work with you and to pay you the money that you are looking to make. And so you may have to level up the market that you're actually working in. It doesn't mean you have to change markets necessarily, but you have to level everything up. So you have to level up your marketing so that you look like the expert. So you look like the go-to person that deserves those big high premium fees, but then you also have to level up your sales process and you have to change maybe how you're doing your proposals or how you're doing your sales process so that these clients turn into bigger clients and they say yes to you and they're happy happy to pay you the big fees. And so this is the third step. And then the fourth step is building your team, building a strong, solid team while remaining highly profitable. See, a lot of times when people are in growth mode, they are losing a lot of profitability and they're back into that stress mode. And this is a, a lot of times why, number one, seven-figure businesses fail. It's also why a lot of times, uh, people think I don't I don't want to make millions. I don't want to make millions because I know what it will take. Well, it's because you have not probably stepped into the CEO role and you're not treating your business like you're the CEO of your business. You're still maybe uh, doing some of the work. Maybe you're still the you know the practitioner or you're still doing the tactical work and you're not running your company, you're not running your business. The reason I was able to build and sell multiple businesses through the years is because I had to remove myself from doing all the stuff. I had teams, I had employees, I had people that were running my businesses, running my companies. And I was, even if I wasn't there, Everything kept going and growing and I was the face of my business and then running my teams, running my people. And I've done the same thing online as well. So my question for you is, are you still doing too much stuff inside of your business? If you are actually spending more than 10 to 12 hours a week doing like the thing that you deliver, you are losing money. You're losing money. So when we talk about the fourth step and being able to scale to that seven figures and even beyond, you have got to step into the CEO role here. And this is where you get to rev up your revenue. You're going to build your team. You're going to automate. You're going to put in systems. You're going to put in things that are going to help you actually get freedom back into your business. But you also want to make smart moves so that you are staying profitable. And this is where a lot of people People go wrong, what they don't know about business. And so they end up falling into sort of this trap. 
So I'm going to help you get to seven figures and even beyond in 2024. And I want, because really the freedom, the freedom of your business really comes when you get into those big numbers. It does not come when you're playing down here. I like to call the low six figure trap, right? You're in this low six figure mode in your business. And that is a trap because you still will have to be in the business a lot in that at that level. And so I want to move you into uh, playing at that higher level because this is where the real freedom comes from. And just think about it. You know, I have sold five of the seven businesses that I have built. I have sold five of those and it has built financial freedom for us and wealth. And I never dreamed I would be a millionaire. I never dreamed that uh, business would do that for me, but it has through the years, it has done that. And I'm not saying that to be arrogant or to brag. I'm saying, you know, through building businesses, I know that you can build wealth. And, you know, we have multiple properties that we own. We have uh, money in the bank. We have retirement. We have all the things that people dream about. And it all has come to us because of the businesses that I built. And you can build wealth with your business too. So I want to encourage you to make this your seven figure, maybe multiple seven figure year. And if you're not sure what your game plan would be, what your next moves are to get you to that seven figures, or maybe you've struggled staying in the same place maybe for many years, let's have a conversation. I want to talk to you. I want to help you map out that million dollar, multiple million dollar strategy. What does that look like for you? What are you able to accomplish? So if this is you, you can book a call at acarden.com. Four moves, four things again, get that revenue model so it's simple and you're working with high caliber clients, especially if you are excellent at what you do. And then you want to add in uh, revenue streams that can actually take you to that bigger level and can be highly profitable. The second thing is you've got to look like the expert. If you're going to influence these big premium buyers, you've got to look like you deserve to get paid and that you're credible and you truly are an expert. So your marketing, redesign your revenue model, revamp your marketing. The third step is to restructure your sales process so that you really do come off as the expert and desperate and not taking any client that will come your way. And then the fourth step is rev up your revenue. This is where you get to really put your business on steroids. You get to ramp it up by bringing in a great team, uh, adding revenue streams, adding new revenue streams, automation. This might be where you go into paid advertising. Also, when you are stepping up your your game and elevating your game, you also need to be seen more, get more visible. And so all of that comes back into the marketing piece, but that will also allow you when you get to sort of that fourth level to rev up your revenue, it will also give you the opportunity to have collaborations and JV partnerships because now you've built this incredible business, this incredible brand, and people will want to work with you, be associated with you, and they'll want to be partners with you. And so all of this works together, but these are the four steps to building that million dollar and even beyond business as a professional entrepreneur. So let me know what you think about this video. Book a call at acarton.com if you are ready to make big moves in 2024 and move into seven figures. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.